Claremont, population 3,000, and one of Australia's mining heartlands. Most of the work here is in coal or farming, and they keep Paul Wilkes' motel business going as well. Possibly 70% um, of, our, of our business would be coal related in one way or another. Whether it be the shoe salesman or the, the shampoo salesman or the fuel salesman. Claremont's the closest town to the controversial Carmichael mine and it's still 160 kilometres away. The mine's owned by the Indian company Adani and got the go-ahead from the government last year after more than a decade. There have been hold-ups over environmental approvals and funding problems, so the mine's been scaled back from its initial plans. However, it'll still be among Australia's biggest, exporting at least 10 million tonnes of coal a year. This is the workers' camp for the mine, which is under construction just a few kilometres away. We weren't allowed to film inside, and Adani wouldn't talk to us on camera for this story. The mine lies here in the Galilee Basin, which is home to one of the biggest coal deposits in the world. There are fears the mine could push an endangered bird species towards extinction, while the land also holds spiritual significance for some indigenous groups. Adani will be the first mine in the basin, and that's made it a flashpoint for protests. It's madness to actually let it, to, that it's got this far um, in this day and age with what we know about climate change and opening up um, one of the world's biggest new coal deposits. Um, yeah, as I said, madness. Shouldn't happen. The mining industry and the role of fossil fuels in the climate crisis have been in the spotlight in Australia after months of devastating bushfires and years of drought. Australia is the world's biggest exporter of coal and the government's being accused of not doing enough to reduce emissions or protect the planet. So I was a deputy, so I was in charge of the crew. Third generation coal miner and local union chief Steve Smythe says his members are open to change, but it's got to be realistic. If they expect miners and their families and communities to come along on this journey, then they've got to provide something more than what they're providing now, which is just rhetoric and words. And the fact that people are not convinced that renew the renewable sector can provide the same type of employment, same ongoing job security, and a future for both them and their kids. The Adani mine could be exporting its first coal as soon as next year. In the meantime, Australia remains deeply divided over whether mines are purely sources of money and opportunity, or scars on the landscape that take more than they provide. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera, Queensland, Australia.